Yeah, I'm going on a mission this morning to really find out a few things regarding AI, so stick around. Yes, I hope all is well. I've arrived at my first spot and I just want to say that, whoa, this place is looking empty a bit. But I want to say I'm on a journey. I'm on a journey to find out a few things today. So I want to share a few things with you so you can make your own judgments as it relates to artificial intelligence and the future. I want to ask you questions rather than giving you answers. So let us remember, this is where we start. Now we have to understand that the issue of artificial intelligence has really somewhat taken over the world. And as I stand looking here on the roadway, it brings a thought to me. When we look at it, we have to say to ourselves, the rapid advancement of technology as it relates to artificial intelligence is changing the world. It's transforming the job market and leading to the displacement of several jobs while sustaining new opportunities. And I use the word new opportunities because people need to understand that there will be new opportunities. And of course, over the next few years, there are going to be some jobs that are going to be out of this world and some jobs that will go. And we have to understand that. But I'm not here to say which jobs will go and which jobs will stay. I want to take you on a journey, I say. Where there's going to be job losses and so forth, we have to understand that this will affect some, but it opens the opportunities for other people to really think about AI, think about the journey. But the journey continues and we have to ensure that we are ready. You know, so I would say to people who are thinking about where their job is going to be in another five years, stick around, watch this video, make your assumptions, because it will give you an idea of where the jobs will go and where the jobs will come from in another five years or so. So at this point in time, I would say to you, I'm going to go to another place. And we're at Sam's. Yep. Yeah. Get that sign so you can see. And basically, I'm going into Sam's because I want to capture something that is important. I saw something in Jamaica. And when I saw it, I said to myself, wow, Jamaica is going to have that issue to address in a very short time. Because the issue of automation is really taking over. Yes, and this machine in Sam's is actually cleaning the place. And it's being operated autonomously yes it has sensors and it goes around even to various extent that you would think that it would not be possible it has a sensor to guide it around the place and it does a good job cleaning and then in meantime meantime in jamaica the same machine type is being operated by a human so therefore that will change Here I am cashing out at Sam's, driving up to the of course automated checkout center. And I'm just going to put my card in and then I'm going to be ensuring that I scan every item before leaving. Here it is. And again, there's no cashier. I realize people have reduced the amount of individuals helping people to machines. And sometimes it's frustrating because the machines are not as useful as humans are. And that's the reality. But things are moving on. What I showed you, that's just one job. I remember when we had cashiers and cashiers would just practically do everything for you. They'd pack your bags for you. So I'm doing that now. And of course, we can see that taking place. So that's just one job already gone years ago. And uh, I don't see that in Jamaica yet or the Caribbean. But just bear that in mind. That's just one job. We're going to take you to another place now. We will explore another aspect of it, all right? It's all happening. Yeah, so um, there we have it. Our next step would be for lunch. And what better place to have it than a place that is automated. And here, you will see that I'm being served by a robot. After lunch, we drove to the late Nuna area in search of the autonomous shuttle that operates there. We went driving around, but we did not see one. But here's a picture of one. I've actually driven behind one on several occasions, 
And to be honest, they go very slow. I did ask about it with a friend of mine, and she said to me that based on that, there were many complaints. But the shuttle is autonomous and runs here. I hope it still goes on. But if you want more information about the shuttle, it's in the description section of this video. Let's continue. Um, everywhere in Ireland is wonderful. Yes, um, as a matter of fact, they have the medical city in this area. A lot of buildings and development taking place. Yes, so they have really done a good job in setting up the infrastructure for this place. So a um, lot of people have come here to settle. And it's practically a, a city by itself, really. Most expensive. Most the expensive the Orlando area. One of these houses could cost... There, there are houses that are beyond a million dollars here. Yes, I, so I guess they have the technology. Yes, they have everything they want that they could use. Yeah, so we're just going to stop, find a place, and see if we can locate that taxi at some point. So let's pull it up a bit. And um, hold the way high. Is it a taxi? Is it a taxi, really? It's not a taxi. What is it? Why well, we did not find, of course, the elusive shuttle. The images outlined here highlight the coming of autonomous trucks. It's already here. It highlights that trucks will be delivered and move around autonomous capacity too. We can see where the food industry would be affected. We can also establish that in our commerce it will have great impact. And my concern is that it's also affecting how we will navigate our world. Many things will change. Autonomous cars. Some critical questions. Have you thought about your job as it relates to AI? Have you given any thought of how you can really get ready for the artificial intelligence revolution? And if not, how are you going to cope? Another factor that we have to consider is that AI is going to be here. Individuals are going to want to use AI to increase their productivity and your productivity. And of course, maximize profits. That seems to be the realm of capitalism. So if it means decreasing human capacity for productivity, and use machine or algorithms, they will do it. Remember, the capitalist is mainly about...